Good morning, folks. Now that everyone on Earth can see ISON, and tens of thousands of you have walked outside and seen the tiny comet for yourselves, the amount of lunatic ravings about this comet has died way down. But one of those last few remaining buggers has just been caught red-handed by Bruce Gary altering one of the pictures from his website. As if he hasn't been doing a better job tracking ISON than just about any two people combined. He also took it upon himself to dive into the remaining nonsense and prove it to be fraud all by himself. Those new UFO images with Ison are fake, and they faked Bruce Gary's images to do it. By the way, Bruce has also noticed another fate event at the comet, tracking exactly yesterday's Ison chat for website members. We'll kick it to the weather real fast, where localized showers at the South Island are all that spare a beautiful Sunday night here. Those storms are ripping across Italy and Germany. Greece and its neighbors is up next as the low continues east. Danger in the West Pacific as one typhoon pops up right after another. China taking the first, you'll remember, but we expect near super typhoon strengthening before the second takes a swipe at Japan. Karen in the Gulf is weakening still and taking the hardest right she can make. Storm thankfully never developed into the full nightmare it could have been, but we still have some flooding issues where she'll make landfall. Now to correct a mistake. In another one of the members only chats last night on the website, I said it was a shame that this winter storm came too early to hit the Weather Channel storm name time frame. I couldn't have been more wrong. The back edge of this current low has been named Atlas. In addition to my professors getting mad at me for using high and low pressure surface drive to oversimplify the weather. They used to fight me tooth and nail against the notion that these leading and trailing edge storms we're one in the same. You'll remember from yesterday how warm air ripping so strong up the east can produce tornadoes, but that cell is so strong that it is also yanking down from the north so hard on the west edge that it's nearly setting snow records in Wyoming in October. The official weather folks do not count those as one storm, but two. Yet their genesis is in the same pressure system as they knuckle across the states. Those who have been here and are comfortable with that movement of the lows might righteously be surprised that the experts see that leading heat and trailing snow as two different events. Now if any of that seems confusing, please just go back and watch yesterday's news again. I'm on deck to take these storms in Ohio today. Sunspots. The turning group is nearly earth-facing now. Doppler Graham reveals the north to be a total pretender. And again, the southern Umbra is all alone with no magnetics to mix nearby. Almost want to write them both off and focus on the southeastern limb, especially with very little flare activity as those two are facing Earth. The solar wind is kind of calm, but potentially ready to show minor, minor interplanetary shock today. If so, any disturbance, even a minor one, will be revealed by breaks in these nice electron flux and magnetometer curves. IS was diagnosing moderate Earth-facing power in the coronal holes and a trans-equatorial incomer. Now at this point, that incomer is hard to see on the SDO-193, but behind those bright spots you'll see the darker vertical line extending the back edge of that northern dark coronal hole way down to the south. That northern group is directly Earth-facing today, but the backside of it does look to be a bit stronger. Now while there were no massive quakes, some interesting seismic events of note over the last 24 hours. First, we keep getting these kind of readings in the North Pacific that no agency finds credible, but they can't seem to get the alleged errors to stop popping up like this one here. Then, it has been more than four years since Romania took a five-pointer. Nine years since they took one bigger than this. This is a very, very rare quake. We also had a volcano erupt in West Java. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.